The other day I got a very interesting email. I got an email where a person with Bema claimed that somebody told her or him, I won't mention names now, that you would get the same effect from a hairdryer, an electric drill or passing your TV as you would get from the Bema. Well, that is just not correct. There's another person who claimed that there were kilowatts of power coming out of the Bema and wouldn't that be detrimental to your health? That's also not correct. I don't know where this sort of information comes from, but let me correct it here. The first thing is the output power of the Bema is very, very little. It's in the region of milliwatts, while the consumption from the power plug in the wall may be 30 watts, the actual signal um, that gets out into the body is measured in milliwatts. Is it similar to a microwave oven? No, because the Bema is a direct current pulse that has a certain configuration and that stimulates the vasomotion, the dilation and contraction of the blood vessels and for that reason the Bema works. If you use a hairdryer, you get an alternating cycle and this alternating cycle is 50 Hertz and you will have no effect from that at all except that it gets all the ions, all the electrically charged particles in the cells pretty upset. But that's another story. But if you take a microwave oven, it pushes out about 2 kilowatts and it can heat any water containing substance like your food or your coffee. That's completely different. It also uses a very, very high frequency, the same sort of frequency as cell phones, except it's in a slightly different band. That's neither here nor there. But your domestic apparatus uses alternative current at 50 cycles per second, while the Beamer uses a direct current signal, either it is positive or it is negative, but it is not fluctuating. It just sends out different intensities over time. And that is the big difference. So don't worry about your hairdryer, don't worry about your electric drill or your microwave oven. The Beamer is something completely different. And I hope you understood that now. We're talking very, very small levels. Listen in again next week. We'll take some other topic.